NHL's coverage of NHL free agency continues as the Nashville Predators have signed Ryan O'Reilly to a four-year deal worth an AAV of $4.5 million. And Kimmel of Locked On Predators joins us now to react to the move and break down what it means for the Preds. How's it going, Anne? It has been a crazy morning already here in Nashville with the Ryan O'Reilly signing. We also got Luke Shen and Gustav Nyquist. So it's very busy in Nashville. Absolutely. So Ryan O'Reilly spent the last several seasons in St. Louis. He then went uh, to the Toronto Maple Leafs on a trade deadline deal. 16 goals, 14 assists, and 53 games played. What do you think he brings to the Preds? You know, I think the most important thing that the Nashville Predators were looking for when they signed Ryan O'Reilly was his experience. The Predators are really focused on kind of a youth-centered reset, which makes signing a 32-year-old center seem counterintuitive. But so many of the centers that the Predators are hoping to develop in the next few seasons are younger players, players like Cody Glass, Tommy Novak, who doesn't have a ton of NHL experience, even someone like Yuso Parsonen. So I think signing Ryan O'Reilly is a way to bring in a veteran presence among this younger group of centers. And I think it gives some really good experience for some of the wingers as well. I think he kind of brings a stabilizing force. I think he's a good voice in the locker room. And I think with championship experience, he's really going to help the development process for some of these younger teammates. So well, he's 32. Are you concerned about his age at all? Well, as somebody who is not 32, no. But in <laughs> hockey years, I think it's a really interesting move because Barry Trotz has been so focused on a youth reset. So this is a signing and a term that I think is a little bit surprising in Nashville. Barry Trotz met with media last Monday and was very clear that he's looking for deals that are not with term. So maybe one, two year deals. This is a four year deal with a 32 year old player. So I think it is a little bit surprising. To me, it says that Barry Trotz really feels like O'Reilly is going to bring value to the team just with his experience. And that's maybe why he went ahead and signed somebody with a four year deal who's 32 years old. So we talked a little bit about a couple of the other signings. How do you think this O'Reilly signing fits in with uh, acquiring Luke Shen and Gustav Nyquist? And where does this fit in the Barry Trotz plan? I think that's a great question. I, I keep going back to everybody's a little caught off guard right now in Nashville because these are veteran signings. And of course, you do need veteran presence in the locker room during a reset. But the Predators just offloaded two veterans, Ryan Johansson and Matt Duchesne. And while that did free up some cap space, it seems interesting that they're bringing in some older players. Now, these are older players with some championship experience. And so I think that has some value you. It will be interesting to see maybe what the plan is for these players that they're signing today two seasons from now. You know, are they going to be still a valuable part of the core of the Nashville Predators? Or is Barry Trotz signing these four-year, three-year deals and thinking he's going to get value for maybe the next two seasons and then the younger players will be ready to maybe take over more ice time from the veterans? I think there's a lot of questions. Yeah, it sounds like it, but I think things uh, are pretty exciting in Nashville right now. So for more on all of the offseason moves made by the Nashville Predators, tune into the Lockdown Predators podcast. It's free on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day.